Hello booktube, it's time for my October book haul. Um, this is a lighter haul than the past few months. Um, 13 books compared to the 20 plus books um, the last two months at least, if not more than that. Uh, largely because this haul is exclusively history. And that's going to be a theme, I think, for November and December's book hauls as well. Um, and so there's no fiction, no manga, nothing else. It's just history. So let's get started. Um, the Vanguard book for October, the first book I picked up in the month of October, is The Ottomans, Cons, Caesars, and Caliphs by Mark David Bayer. This is a um, big history of the um, Ottomans. Uh, and I've been quite interested in the Ottomans for uh, a few years. Um, I've been wanting to collect um, histories of the Ottoman Empire. Um, I was thrilled to pick up The Fall of the Ottomans by Eugene Rogan a few months ago and really enjoyed it. So I'm very happy to have this and I am looking forward to reading it. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get to it in December. The next book up is uh, one of the few used books I picked up this month. Um, so I mentioned, I think it was last month's haul, or maybe the month before, that I've taken to asking my tablet to select a random number that would correspond to the number on my Alibra's wish list. Um, the Alib my Alibra's wish list is one of the few wish lists I have that the titles are numbered. So I picked up two books that way this month. Um, and the first of those is um, Andrew Jackson, His Life and Times by H.W. Brands. Um, I picked this up from Owl's Books, I think. And um, Andrew Jackson is not one of my favorite presidents. He's probably my least favorite president. I always grimace when I handle a $20 bill. I just, I dislike him that much. Um, but I do want to read his biography and H.W. Brands um, is one of my favorite historians. So I'm quite pleased to have this in my collection and I will read it at some point. Not entirely sure when though. Um, the next two books, and then we'll have to wait a bit for the third uh, to show up because the order was split in, the, um, in or from the University or Princeton University Press um, in late September. Uh, Princeton University Press had a, a sale on, and I made two orders. Um, the first order will be was a pre-order and will be showing up in January and I'm pretty sure if you've been following along for a while you'll guess who um, that book is or what that book is. Um, so the first two um, in my second um, of my second uh, University of Princeton Press um, sell was or were. Um, so the first one is The Last Pharaohs, Egypt Under the Ptolemies, 305 to 30 BC by J.G. Manning. This is a history, an exploration of um, the state formation in Ptolemaic Egypt. And I do have an interest in um, Egyptian history, um, and including the Ptolemaic uh, dynasty. And going up a few millennia, New Lefts, The Making of a Radical Tradition by Terence Renaud. This is about um, the European left from the 20s to the 60s. Um, I've developed a bit of a sweet tooth and an interest in um, the history of the left. And I'm quite pleased to have uh, this in my collection. And I'm looking forward to reading it in the not-too-distant future, and I might even be picking up another 
um, history, this time more of an American one for November, uh, depending. Uh, the next book is uh, another cell book, um, Powell City of Books, the storied independent bookseller in Portland, Oregon, had a one-day sale or a two-day sale um, in late September, early October, um, and I jumped on it, and I picked up South to Freedom, Runaway Slaves uh, to Mexico and the Road to the Civil War by Ellis L. Baumgartner. Uh, this um, is a history of, um, so most uh, people, like, when one thinks of uh, runaway slaves, one thinks of the Underground Railroad, which took um, freed slaves from their, the American South up through the freed states and into um, Canada, where they would be freed. Um, this book looks at the history of slaves freeing um, not north, but south to Mexico, um, which I'm as pretty sure is not as well researched. And I'm looking forward to getting to this. Um, I've wanted it for quite a while, and I know it was up for a number of awards, including winning the California Book Award for uh, nonfiction or history. Not entirely sure which. Um, so looking forward to reading uh, South to Freedom. Next up is a random book I decided to buy uh, from Amazon when I ordered my mom's birthday present, which are currently in these two. No, wait, just that one. Because those two are mine. But that's mom's. Anyway, so I picked up from Amazon uh, Strongman Mussolini to the Present by Ruth Ben Giet. Uh, this is a history, a look at um, various dictators and that I've wanted for quite a while. Uh, the next two books are um, used copies or used books. Um, I picked these up from uh, Midtown Scholar in Harrisburg, uh, Pennsylvania, one of my favorite um, booksellers on the Libras. And first up is Hadrian the Restless Emperor by Anthony R. Burley. Um, this was the second um, history that uh, rolled up on my uh, random uh, Libris buying thing, where I ask a leap, um, my tablet to select a random number, and I will buy the corresponding book on Libris. Um, so I'm quite looking forward to reading this. Um, Hadrian is one of my favorite emperors. I'm quite looking forward to reading his biography. I was also thinking of picking up um, Anthony Everett's biography at the same time, but I set that aside. I might pick that up later at some point. Um, in the second book I ordered from Midtown Scholar, and one that I've been wanting for quite a while, is The Other Americans in Paris, Businessmen, Countesses, Wayward Youth, 1880-1941 to by Nancy L. Green. This is from the University of Chicago Press, and had I did a second um, University of Chicago Press sell order um, earlier this year, this would have been one of those books. Annoyingly, I did not do that. And so I've had to wait until now to pick up um, Other Americans in Paris. Uh, the next book is a recent paperback release of a book that I've already read and commented on. It is The Dead Are Rising. The Life of Malcolm X by Les Payne and um, Tamara Payne. This is the likely to be the definitive biography of Malcolm X going forward. Um, I read it earlier this year for the Booktube Prize and quite liked it. I'm looking forward to returning to it in the not too distant future. Um, the next little batch of books are going to be in a, a bit weird because I did the a, a order with um, Book Depository. They had a 10% off sale. So I decided to order um, two, a, 
two books in a series and um, in between them the third of my um, Princeton University Press cell um, books came in. So the first book that came in from Book Depository is um, The Hitler Years Triumph 1933 to 1939 by Frank McDonough. Um, this is a history of um, Nazi Germany from their um, Hitler's assumption of the chancellorship up through the beginning of World War II. In between the Hitler years, because obviously I picked up both um, books, I got the third in my second um, Princeton University Press cell. And that is In Search of the Phoenicians by Josephine Quinn. This is a history of the Phoenicians, and I'm thinking of how we know what we know about them or don't know about them. And I'm quite looking forward to reading this book. I'm building my pyramid. This might not work though. <laughs> so, of course, the next book is the um, second part of Frank McDonough's um, uh, History of Nazi Germany series. So this is the Hitler Years, Disaster 1940 to 1945, which uh, covers World War II. And finally, um, the last book um, uh, that I picked up in October, and one that was just purely random chance that I decided to pick one up this week, is, and one that actually came out um, just past Tuesday and one that when I saw it I absolutely had to have it because I've been wanting a biography of her for a while and that was heightened when I read last year Post Wall Post Square in which um, this particular um, Chancellor of Germany uh, made a few cameos and that is The Chancellor The Remarkable Odyssey of Angela Merkel by Kitty Martin this is a biography of um, Angela Merkel who until recently, or I think she probably is right now, uh, the caretaker prime minister, but she's been the chancellor of Germany. Or did I say prime minister? I meant chancellor. But she's been the uh, chancellor of Germany for the past 15, 16 years and has really uh, transformed Europe. And I've been wanting a biography for her for quite a while, so I'm quite happy to have it. So that was my October October book haul. Um, so for November, it's looking like it's going to be another exclusively history-oriented book haul, although there's a chance there could be some science books. Um, I am, I mentioned, no, I didn't mention it. Um, I might mention it tonight in Weekly Reads that there's a new... Um, University of Chicago Press cell. I don't know if this is going to be their big one or if that's going to be coming up in the new year, but there's a new catalog that I've been salivating over and I've been making some wish lists. Um, that was actually the video I would have made yesterday if it came out right, but it, it didn't, but oh well. Um, there are quite a few histories that I want and there are some more um, of the reaction animal series books that I, I want to so I'm kind of juggling how I want to go with that but anyway but so far it's looking like it's going to be more um, history almost certainly it'll be history and if I do the animal books that might be as an afterthought or something depending now let's see if I can get the steep pyramid working so I've got the used books. Now I've got the new hardcovers, the new releases, and slightly older. Then I've got the Princeton books and him. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's hold this for a bit and see if I can get this as the um, screen capture for the thumbnail. Because sometimes I don't and I really want to show these. Okay, that should be enough. Now I'm going to go alphabetize them, get them in my catalog, and then put them on my shelves. Um, normally, what I do is I put my books on this little shelf here, um, and where they will accumulate over the course of the month, so that I can then, at the end of the month, film this book haul, and then I'll put them in a catalog that I have, and then I'll sort them on the shelf here, since they're all history, and that's currently history too. Um, I started doing this with science fiction and fantasy when I was collecting a lot of them because while my history shelves are chaotically organized, my science fiction and fantasy are alphabetized. So basically every time I got some new science fiction in, and if I'm just putting them on the shelves as I get them, that pretty much means I'm going to have to reorganize my entire science fiction uh, collection every time I do that and it's a pain in the butt so I basically accumulate and then do it all at once so anyway booktube that again was my October book haul um, I'll see you later on this evening with weekly reads which may or may not have a few rants we shall see um, depends what my mood is anyway so until Weekly Reads tonight, BookTube, thank you, have a great afternoon, and stay safe.